Guys, you join me for another wild camp. Welcome to Port Aaron Bay. Probably my most favorite place on the island. Uh, that headland behind me, that's where I'm gonna wild camp tonight, around there somewhere. There's a beautiful little tower I wanna check out. But yeah, check this out, it's hard to believe. It's spring. My van is literally just over there. I'm gonna bring her back in. I've been out here for about 45 minutes. I missed dolphins by about 10 minutes, apparently. They were, they were over here. But yeah, you see me down here plenty. I free dive this area quite often. There's quite a lot to see. But yeah, get back and uh, we'll start this wild camp. All right, van's all locked up. I'm gonna cut along the beach up to the headland. It's only a few miles, but this pack weighs next to nothing anyway, so we're gonna be sorted. What a place, I love Port Aaron Bay. The other side of the bay now. I'll come right across down there is roughly where I was paddleboarding. Time is 20 past six. You can see that sunset is about an hour, maybe hour and a half away. I think clocks are not long gone forward, so I'm tramping on trying to get up to the headland to find where I'm going to camp for the night. Plus, I've got a tent that I've never used before. Love a good challenge. This year is an absolute epic spot in the summer for basking sharks. They come in off this side of the island over there and they come right in the bay. I'll overlay some footage. It's absolutely unreal. May to October, one of the best places in the UK for finding basking sharks. Looking out for you! If someone making YouTube videos, it's all contrived, we always have to run back to the camera. So there it is, Milner's Tower. Story has it, it was built in homage of some guy called William Milner, who was from Liverpool, some like uh, really good safe maker. And apparently a photo of this won some world's best photo uh, competition in 1931. But there's a nice staircase, we'll be able to go up and have a look. It's so windy up here. Oh, it's a bit dark inside. There's 40 steps in here. God, I bet you can't see a thing. In there. Don't know what that was ever used for. If you know in the comments, let me know. Ooh, okay. okay, welcome to the top of Redhead. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, time. I better get a wriggle on. It's gonna get dark soon. I've got to find the pitch. Over that way. Get a bit of shelter. It's due to rain tonight. Probably about 3, 4 in the morning. So it'll be interesting. See how this new DD Superlight 10 holds out. Railway sleepers up there. Nice. World War II pillbox. Look out. I should have taken my backpack off, but let's have a ski. Not on bad condition. Let me see any attacks coming in from there. On that side. Down there. If you like this sort of thing, World War II, I did camp in one of these. I'll link the video here. It was probably 
my favourite camp so far. I absolutely loved it until this one. Anyway, love anything to do with World War Two. Quick ski. Ooh, don't want to fall down here, boy. There we go. Nice. Find a pitch. Here's the spot then. DD Superlight tarp tent. Nobody wants to see me put it up. I'll just do it like this, shall I? Whoop. There she is. The DD Superlight tarp tent. Single wall construction. Essentially, it's a trekking pole tent. So we've got two of these trekking poles fit into the top here. You can set it up with one apparently, and then it has a carbon pole here. But yeah, looks pretty good. As far as tent views go, sunrise will be in that direction, but we are forecast rain, so let's see. And the sunset, I think has probably just missed it while I've been putting this tent up, but it's the other side of the Brad ahead there. See how dry this is? If you are into wild camping, don't be lulled into a false sense thinking you can light fires in places like this. This place would go up like nothing else and it has done in the past. That's why I've brought the jet boil. There'll be no fires tonight. But that, loving that. It's got a tiny little vestibule behind the door here. So I'll dump my backpack in there. I'll show you later once I set the sleep system up. I'm pretty hungry now, now, so. Quick sleep system overview. Nothing too detailed, nothing you haven't seen before. Three FUL mat, need that for the backpack. It's like a back support, really. What's this, the Climate Static V, usual Trichology pillow, and a three season sleeping bag. On top, we've got military surplus softy pants and down booties, AliExpress jobbies. But yeah, that's the one, there she is. It's a bit coffin-like in there, I'm not gonna lie. But to nothing different than really the OEX Fox Range tents. But uh, see how she goes. Got the vent at the back here. Put the head into the wind, so should be all right. Food, jet boil, like I've said, burgers, wraps, Mars bar for after, cooked in oil, a sticky toffee pudding for after, and my breakfast will probably be the all-day breakfast. Cooked on a little pan, titanium pan. Burgers with a view. Sun's pretty much uh, gone down now. <clears throat> Finished all my food, pretty much. There's a light support air behind me. This is my favorite place on the island, hands down. Uh, just wanna say before I uh, get in the tent for the night, in the coffin, uh, if you're thinking of doing a wild camp and you're not sure, I tell you what, get out and do it. It's unreal for the mind, uh, just being out in nature. What an amazing place, what a great camp. And uh, I'll try and get some night photography if I can, uh, before the expected rain starts rolling in. The wind's dropped down a little now, which is nice. Without further ado, unless something crazy happens, I'll flip over to some either night photography or me in the morning. I'm in. This is what it's like inside. So a bit of a mare. They sit down here. This one. Just does this like in a bit. It's broken. There we go. No rain yet, but it is getting foggy outside.
Well, decent night's sleep, and that's two camps in a row now that the rain was forecast and hasn't arrived. I'm going to get caught out one of these days pretty bad, but uh, there we go. Normally the weather report stitches me up. The tent was pretty solid in the night, to be honest. Obviously, the zip for here broke, so that was flapping around inside, which is a bit annoying. Uh, Condensation-wise, really bad. I should probably have looked to maybe guy it out a bit more from here uh, to create more of a gap, but the inside was soaking, right where I was. But uh, I'm going to pack up before all the dog walkers come. I've just seen a dog. There's the owner over there. And we'll uh, make our way back. No sunrise to speak of. Let's get to making up. So there you go guys, leave no trace. You would never know I was even here, and that's how it should be. It's a lovely calm day. A couple of other observations while I was making the tent up there. Um, firstly, the tent pegs are unreal. They're these DD super light ones. They're so, I don't know, I can't describe it. Got a bit nerdy here, but they are the best quality tent pegs I've ever used. Uh, the carbon pole on the foot end of the tent was frayed a little bit. I think that might have been a defect from the factory, so I'll get in touch with DD. And uh, just be careful with your trekking poles because mine, where you adjust them, are probably on the limit for a little bit uh, too big for fitting through the loops. So a bit of fiddling around, but I didn't mind that. I still prefer the tent to the Lanshan one. Seems like a better option for me. Uh, I will use both of these tents again multiple times anyway. I uh, don't know if you can see over there, the car for man. Be doing a boat update video shortly. Uh, the Warrior 165, doing quite a lot to that to get it ready for uh, boat camping adventures. But other than that, better crack on, get back down to where my van is at the other side there. I mean, you won't be able to see it, but my van is literally there. And get on with normal life. Thanks for coming along for the ride, as usual. And uh, catch you guys on the next adventure. Take it easy, and remember what I said, get out there. Wild camping is awesome for your mental health.